So let's remove this and let's remove everything. We're gonna take a look at another methods, another methods and values. So for example, I'm gonna add let number and I'm gonna send this value to the console, console.log number. And we're gonna try to convert a lot of different values into from strings into a numbers. So we can add, for example, right here, number equals to number. We can also use parse in, remember? And I'm gonna add 20 in single quotes. You can see this will convert 20 into a number. Next, for example, number equals to number. We're gonna add single quotes, 20, a dot, 20, 10, and two. Save this and you can see we have also the number. Uh, for example, number equal number equals true. You can see that you can also convert a boolean into a number. The true is going to be one because, for example, if I copy this and paste, the false is going to be zero. So false are always zero, true are always one, and you can convert them into a number using this number. Something really important here is if you try to use uh, we're going to use parse in right here. And you can see it's going to be not a number because a parse in is going to try to read the value from a string that is actually a number like these ones, but it doesn't work with true or false. So we're going to add another one, number equals to number, and we're going to pass null, and you can see null is also zero. If we add number equals to number, and we pass, for example, hello world, it's going to be not a number. If we add number equals number and we try to convert an array, one, two, three, you can save this and it's going to be also not a number because this is an array. And just to make a test, you can, for example, send this value to the console. Type of number and you can see that the value is going to be a number, but it's, it's not printing the, the actual values that we have here. So there are something, there are other options, for example, parse in and parse float. So for example, we're gonna use this number equals to parse integer, and we're gonna add 100 inside quotes. So save this, and you can see we had 100, and it's also a number. So we're gonna make another copy. Parse in stands for parse integer. So if you add uh, 100, 20, you can see it will only print 100 because this will parse the integer number. If you wanna parse a float number, you can use number equals to parse float. It's going to be, for example, 120, something like this. And it's going to be 100.2. So there are other functions. Uh, there is another one called to fix. And for example, let's add, so let's add something like let number one. And we're gonna add a bunch of numbers here. And we're gonna add a comma, number two. And we're gonna add the same value, but without the quotes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a dot and a bunch of different values. So for example, I'm gonna, right here, I'm gonna use number one and I'm gonna remove this type of. And we're gonna use to fix, save this, and you can see that to fix cannot be used with strings. This is a, a function or a method that is only available in numbers. So for example, uh, you can make something like this, number, this, this is going to convert the string number into an actual number. And then we're going to pass to fix, save this, and you can see we have the value. But there is no reason to use to fix if you already have a number, and this number is a fixed number. We can add, for example, point ten twenty. Save this, and you can see this is going to remove these, these decimals. But let's say that I want to print this, this at least two decimals. You can add a, do, a two right here. And now you can see we have 0.10. And 
in the case of the number two, in this case, you don't need the number because this is actually a number. So we're going to add number two, two fix, and you can see the result is going to be the same. Let's say that you want more decimals. You can add six right here, and this is going to print more decimals. And this is going to be really important. This topic is going to be really, really important since remember all the data submitted into a form is going to be an string and there are several functions to convert those strings into numbers you have number you have parsing parse float and also you have fixed to fix it 